So it's mid-October, and I'm doing one of my favorite things in the world, and that's jumping potholes for wood ducks. And uh, I've got a spot right here. I can hear them. I can see them through the binocs. I think I've got a good route to sneak around, and uh, should be able to whack a couple right here. They have no idea I'm here, so I'm gonna probably crawl down through this ditch and pop out on the other side. Hopefully I can get some good video. There's a couple nice drakes down there. But man, what a absolutely beautiful day here in October. Nothing better. Buzzards moved on me. Now I gotta sneak around again. That's part of the game. Well, I ended up with three great drake woodies here. I was able to pick three drakes out. There was about 50 of them down in this little pocket here. And uh, that's how I sneak up on wood ducks. I mean, look for acorns, um, you know, woods, ponds, ponds with trees around them, oak trees. That's typically where you're gonna find them. And then use binoculars to spot them and uh, come around behind them and pop over the edge and try and get right on top of them. So. Worked perfect today. So this is exactly what I'm talking about right here when I say acorns. These wood ducks absolutely love these things. I just found these laying right here by this tree where I dropped my wood ducks. So they'll come right up on the bank and they'll run around and grab a few and hop back in the water. And if you can find acorns next to water, that's money. Absolute money. And then the second um, factor is logs in the water. The woodies love to sit on logs in the water and rest and get out of the water and preen and stuff. Another thing you want to look for when you're hunting wood ducks on a dry time of year like this is wind. Wind's going to help cover up your movement. It's going to help cover up your sound as you creep up on those ponds. So I picked a pretty breezy day today and that worked out perfect. They never heard me coming. So now I just have to remember where I put my binoculars. This is not the first time this has happened. I always leave them somewhere because I don't want them dangling off my neck. And they kind of, you know, oh well, yeah, by this tree. There's a lot of trees. So let's see if I can find them. Found them. <clears throat> I was just walking back here to the truck and I noticed some wintergreen berries and, uh, these little things are tasty. Yeah, you can just find them growing on the in the woods. They grow on these little short green plants and they taste just like winter green. I don't know if that's actually what they are, but um, we used to eat them as kids all the time. They're all over in here. Just another fun thing to do out here in the woods in the fall. There's lots of things to gather, you know, mushrooms and stuff uh, as you go along, uh, as long as you know what you're picking. So. It's a great time of year to be out here for sure. I'm gonna have some more. Jumping potholes kind of brings you back to your roots and uh, this is how I learned to hunt ducks. My dad and some friends of ours would always go jump potholes on opening day and until the wood ducks left every weekend we'd keep after them. So they're a great tasting duck. They're beautiful, they're plentiful and uh, they're a blast to hunt. So see if we can get a few more uh, other ducks. This this is the limit 
uh, in Wisconsin here is three woodies per day. So uh, I've got my limit of wood ducks now and we'll see if we can find some other birds. I just picked up this wood duck when I got home here and I noticed it was rattling. And it's just full of acorns. They're packed in here and when you shake them, he rattles. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I didn't find any more ducks uh, that weren't wood ducks yesterday, except on one big pond. We ended up hunting that this morning, and uh, we did pretty well there. So about 5:30 here, I got a couple hours to fish. This lake's kind of got a little bit of everything: uh, walleyes, bass, pike, crappies. So. We're just going to get out and check out the lake and see what's going on and uh, hopefully we can catch some fish for supper tomorrow, so let's go. plan is to start with a jig and minnow just to see what's around see if we can get a couple fish on this weed line right here fish on another nice eater bass already caught one on this weed line here just on that jig and minnow it's a nice pair there those will eat good just trying to get some dinner here tonight to go uh, to go with the ducks and have some fin and feather for dinner so Eater largemouth. These are perfect eating size, 12 inches. Cut that one on a Z Viber. It actually raced up off the bottom and smoked it like 12 feet off the bottom, right by the boat. That was sweet. So I got three nice eater largemouth now. That's enough for a meal. So now we'll see if we can get a walleye here to finish it off. Yep. I'll take that. Crappie on the Z Viber. Even those little guys will eat that thing. He's gonna go in the box. I might stop here and see if there's some more too. Throw a couple of smaller jigs. lights on I got two slip floats one out each side with a sucker and I'm gonna jig here with the sucker also and see if I can catch a walleye here in the last half an hour fish on fish on oh he came out of nowhere he grabbed my jig off the bottom while I was checking that other rod another large mount
That's awesome. Not a bad fish. He swallowed it, so I'm gonna keep that one too. Good to stock up on fish here. Well, kind of got dark on us there, so I had to quit filming, but I ended up with three nice largemouth and two crappies to bring home for dinner. And uh, this is why I love October. There's just so much to do. You know, yesterday jumping wood ducks, uh, wood duck potholes. This morning we had a great hunt um, on decoys. I didn't do any filming uh, this morning, but we ended up with uh, 17 ducks and six geese. And uh, and then tonight, just get out in the boat for a couple hours, catch a meal of fish. Um, you can't beat it. There's so much to do this time of year, and you can't even hardly fit it all in. <laughs> so hopefully we've got a couple more uh, weeks of open water fishing here, and I can get out and maybe do some trout and salmon stuff and uh, some late late walleye. Usually I do pretty well on walleyes when uh, right before I ice up. So. We can hopefully get out and do some of that. And uh, yeah, I just saw I saw a ton of boats out tonight. I can't believe how many people are fishing still in October. You typically the boats are off the lakes by now. But drop a, a comment and let me know if you've noticed a lot more fishing pressure this year. It just seems like with COVID and everything, there's just kind of people everywhere. Everybody's fishing and getting in the outdoors, and which is good. But it does. It does create some extra pressure on the lakes and let me know if you've been seeing the same thing by you so anyway hopefully you guys are still doing some fishing and uh, you can go out and get hooked up and uh, enjoy the fall happy October